Hey, what's up guys? My name's Chris Winter and in this video, I'm gonna do a quick preview of the successor to the Canon T6i and T6S called the Canon 77D. By the way, if you haven't seen it yet, definitely make sure to check out my brand new list, the top 10 best cameras for under $1,000. That list is in the description box below under this video. But anyway, here's what we know about the 77D. So in 2015, Canon released two new cameras, the T6i and the T6S. If you were outside of America, like I am in Australia, these were called the 750D and the 760D. Now I had my hands on these cameras for a long time and did a lot of videos on them and found that they were really good, especially if you're either a beginner or in that kind of medium range. This time around though, the cameras are gonna be called the Canon 77D, the T7i and the 800D. And you know, I really wish that Canon would simplify their naming structure, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be happening anytime soon. So we'll just have to stick with those names. So the Canon 77D looks like it's going to be having a 24.2 megapixel sensor. Now just for good measure, it'll also have 45 autofocus points as well. Now this is nothing special and it's nothing brand new or anything, but for beginners and pretty much most people, that's going to be more than enough. By the way guys, I was actually thinking about giving away a Canon 77D once it comes out to one subscriber. So if you're interested in that, let me know by leaving a thumbs up and I'll look into getting a spare camera. Now next up, we've actually got something that's pretty important and something that I'm actually really excited about on this camera, and that's the inclusion of dual pixel autofocus in video mode. Now, if you've watched any of my videos over the last few years, you'll know just how good dual pixel autofocus is in cameras such as the 70D and the 80D. What it does is it allows you to smoothly and cinematically pull focus, either using the touchscreen on the back or by using a mode such as face tracking mode. For example, I'm actually using that dual pixel autofocus right now using face tracking mode on the Canon 70D and you can see even as I go back and forth, I've got no one behind the camera. It really does well, work well uh, keeping my face in focus. So last year, the T6i and the T6S had something called hybrid autofocus. And you know, while it was definitely an improvement over the T5i models, it wasn't really on par with its bigger brothers. So to me, this is the biggest inclusion in this camera. And it's something that I'm actually really excited about. And I think you should be too, because it's a pretty big deal. Now, one extra little bonus that I wasn't expecting to see is that we've got an increase uh, in frames per second from five frames up to six frames. Now, this isn't gonna be a huge deal, but if you're into taking sports and wildlife photography, you'll definitely appreciate the difference. So one thing again that we're missing out with this new camera is the inclusion of 4K video. To be honest, although I didn't expect it, I am a little bit disappointed, but for most people, it's not gonna be a big loss. And sure, there are some really great cameras out there that shoot 4K video at good price ranges. The Panasonic G7 is a bargain at the moment. The G85, uh, Sony have got their A6300 and A6500 models. But to me, I wouldn't trade 4K video for dual pixel autofocus. And I think that's gonna be a big game changer for this kind of beginner uh, entry level market. It looks like we're also getting five axis electronic image stabilization as well, which could be good, but that's something I really wanna test out with the camera in real world use because sometimes with electronic image stabilization, it's not as good as it sounds on paper. Either way guys, I'm actually really excited about getting this camera and so should you. I'm definitely gonna buy a couple of these cameras to do as many videos and reviews on them so you can see if it's gonna be the right camera for you. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you leave a thumbs up because that's always appreciated. And definitely make sure to check out my brand new list, the top 10 best cameras for under $1,000. That link is in the description box below under this video. Hope you have a fantastic day. I'm excited about this camera and I'll see you soon. Bye.